So here's the scenario. It's 2019. You're DJing at a wedding reception. Someone comes up to you and says, could you please play something new? Then you say, sure. What would you like to hear? Hoping to get a request out of them. But then they come back with, I don't care. Just please play something new. This old stuff's driving me nuts. Wedding receptions have always presented their own unique set of challenges. If you're playing a school dance, you're playing two teenagers. So you've kind of got the same demographic there. If you're playing at a nightclub, it's typically, I don't know, 20, 30 somethings. And if you're playing at an EDM club, for example, they're 20 or 30 something EDM fans. So you kind of know what to play. But at a wedding, you've got a lot of different types of people there, all walks of life, all ages. You want to kind of keep it family friendly and you want to keep it familiar. And let's face it, there's not a whole lot going on on the top 40 charts right now to play at wedding receptions. That's danceable, that people like, that people even know. We talked about this in a video a while back. Music used to be the thing, and we consumed it, and we were always waiting for the next great new thing to come out. But you have a lot of choices now. It's not just about music now. It's about, I don't know, YouTube videos and reality TV shows and social media. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of bangers that come out that will work at something like a wedding, like we used to. So what do I do in this situation? When I think of modern music or contemporary music, I'm looking at, believe it or not, the last 10 years. Now, in 1990, it would have been unheard of for me to consider a song from 1981 as a new song. But today, yeah, I go back to 2009 and consider Party in the USA relatively contemporary because what else have we had? So I gather these tracks. I think about Miley Cyrus, LMFAO, Pitbull is an absolute gold mine, Walk the Moon, Maroon 5, Rihanna, all that kind of stuff, and put it in a folder and have it ready when someone asks for something new. Now, having said that, once in a while a track does come out that's relatively hot. Right now, it's Old Town Road. Is it really that danceable? No, but it's new, and you could throw that out as the new track. And the good news is that it's only about three minutes long. So if it fails, you can jump out of that track and go into Pharrell's Happy that people know and might dance to. It's tough, but that's what it's come down to. Until we start getting this great wave of pop music that's danceable again, this is what it's come down to. And that's what I do, and it seems to work pretty good. What do you do? Let us know down here in the comment section. And what are your go-to tracks when someone says, play something new at a wedding reception? Please let us know. You'd be doing everybody a great service. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.